Hi everyone, it's Steph here. Welcome to day two of my December daily videos. Today I am here with my November book haul. This is a relatively small book haul considering uh, I have not actually included very many of the picture books that I acquired in November because I'm going to do a completely separate video for those but there are a couple of crossover books between those two videos so just be aware of that. As with every month I am going to go through my review copies first then I'm going to go through kids middle grade YA stuff and then through my adult titles. Oh and I should say all of these are physical books not including my digital books. I've got to get back into doing my digital hauls but we'll get there eventually. Okay so from Alan and Unwin this month I received four review books. The first one is The Painted Ponies by Alison Lester. I have a feeling that this is a re-release. It is a children's picture book. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is about a little girl called Matilda who visits her grandma Lucky and her grandma begins to tell her a story about when she was little and she was working or part of a circus troupe. She has some adventures with some real ponies as part of that lifestyle and it was just it's beautiful. Alison Lester is sort of a classic Australian author illustrator. Really beautiful storytelling style, really beautiful illustrations. I also received The Dark Hours by Michael O'Connolly, which you've heard me talk about earlier in the month. This one is a crime procedural story. It is book four in the Renee Ballard series, book 35 in the Harry Bosch series, and the third team up book between the two characters. It follows a couple of current day cases plus a cold case and is set in a post pandemic world where people are still reeling from the consequences of that. All right, the next two books are all November 30th releases so they should already be out by the time this video goes up. There is Kill Your Brother by Jack Heath. I have not read this one yet at the time of filming but I will have read it by the time this video goes up. Jack Heath is an Australian author who writes adult thrillers so I'm very eager to try this one because I have previously really enjoyed his Hangman series. And then another very familiar author for people on this channel is Carly Lane. She writes Australian rural romances. I am very excited to pick this one up. I really haven't read much about this title. I just know that I enjoy Carly Lane's writing style so I'll read it and it's very exciting because I have been blurbed on the back again. That made my day when I saw it because I did not notice it the first time. All right so that's it for my review copies. In terms of kids middle grade YA titles I have a I think junior fiction middle grade book called Barkley Mansion and The Weirdest Guest. This is by Melissa Keel and Adele K. Thomas. I don't know much about it. I just saw it and thought this one would be interesting to try and read. I think it might even be fun to read with my class so we'll see if I have a chance to read it before then and read it with them before the end of the year. May or may not happen but it looks very cute and I really enjoy Melissa Keel's young adult books so I was excited to see that she had something out there for younger readers. Also very quickly I wanted to mention The First Scientist by Corey Tutt. This is a non-fiction title for younger readers. It is all about the First Nations and Indigenous peoples and their connection to the STEM field from many 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 thousands of years be before it was even a thing and it was just a really insightful interesting read. There were some things that I knew about and some things that I had never even considered and honestly what it makes me want to do is go and look up more history stuff. So this is a really great one for kids but I think it's also really good for adults as well. All right if I'm in a slightly different position it's because I realized I left books sitting all around my apartment and I needed to go find them. Next on my list is Laura Olympus. So I ended up ordering the paperback edition and it's just gorgeous. This is by Rachel Smythe and most people know about this. It is a webtoon comic. It is a Hades and Persephone retelling. It is just stunning and I'm so glad that I own this copy. At first I wondered if I was going to be sad that I didn't order myself a hardback but do you know what? I actually really like the uh, floppiness of this. It's really really nice and the artwork is just stunning. All of the colors in it are just gorgeous and I can't wait for volume two to come out because I really want to read it. I also received my Lumicrate special edition book copies of The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune as well as Under the Whispering Door. These are just so stunning. They have the beautiful sprayed edges like honestly just gorgeous and underneath the dust jacket you have a printed hardcover and it has been signed. Like it's just a beautiful object. This is one of my favorite books of the year. I definitely needed a copy of it and I also really enjoyed Under the Whispering Door and this one has gorgeous trees on the spine. Also has a beautiful painted hardback and is signed as well. So I'm very grateful that these turned up. They honestly made my week when they turned up. And then my last three books there is Archangel's Light by Nalini Singh. This is the UK trade paperback so I think last month I showed you the mass market. I ended up ordering both of them because I loved the artwork on the mass market but I also am collecting 
all of the books in the UK trade back. I also received my copy of Not My Type by Evie Mitchell. I wanted a physical copy of this because I loved this book so much and also I wanted to support an Aussie author. So this one has turned up. The last book I have is I Married a Birdman by, by Regine Abel. This is book three in the Prime Mating Agency series. This one has a really cool cover. I loved it and I wanted to own it because this one had just such a precious cinnamon roll of a hero who I adored. I love all the books in the series, but this was the first one that I really wanted to own. All right, so those are all the books that I acquired in November, with the exception of the two books that come out on November the 30th. I have read everything, so for once, I'm doing well in terms of my ratio of read and unread books. <laughs> so I'm feeling pretty good, and those two books that I haven't read yet will be read by the end of the month. So by the time this video goes up, you will have already have heard me talk about them, hopefully. I'll leave a link on the screen to where you can listen to those reviews. In the comments, let me know if you have read any of these books or if you're planning on picking them up. Otherwise, feel free to let me know something that you have acquired in the last month that you are really excited about. Or if you want to let me know that you're here but you don't want to leave a comment, leave any kind of bird emoji. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're staying safe and healthy and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.